Hi folks, so in prior videos I shared the unboxing and testing of two antennas that were donated by Rack to support LoRa experiments at our local hackerspace here in Tucson, Arizona. In those videos I researched and summarized a common method used for testing signal loss through the use of voltage standing wave ratio or VISWAR. And I also summarized my own tests of the donated antennas so that I'd have proper context on antenna performance for future experiments. These were my preliminary conclusions showing that the 5.8 dBi antenna performed very well, whereas the 3.0 dBi antenna had a VISWAR greater than 2. In regards to these tests, I noted that my experiments were conducted with an inexpensive vector impedance analyzer purchased on eBay, which is recognized as a quality instrument and was reported to be calibrated prior to shipping. Having said that, I didn't have any calibration records for the instrument, nor do I have the means for calibrating the same in my own shop. In fairness to Rack, I did return the 3.0 dBi antenna for their own testing on laboratory-grade equipment, and for which they were kind enough to reimburse me for shipping. I also purchased two additional 5.8 dBi antennas for use with my own personal gateway. In regards to these purchases, I asked Rack if they could test Vizwar on these before shipping them out. This would give me a means to compare their laboratory-grade results to what's being reported by my vector impedance analyzer. The next few minutes summarize what I learned from subsequent tests, demonstrating that the VIA does perform reasonably well in comparison to laboratory-grade equipment, and that ambient environmental influences were not a factor in my results. I won't narrate the next few minutes. I'll let the video and captioning speak for itself.
And here are my latest conclusions. First, I observed that all three of my Rack 5.8 DBI antennas perform very well, coming in with a visoir significantly less than two. Also, considering its low cost, I believe the Agility Instruments VIA purchased on eBay is a reasonable tool for testing visoir. Reporting within less than 0.2 units from what's being reported by equipment hosted by Rack that likely costs thousands of dollars. For the $125 I paid for that instrument, that difference is certainly tolerable, and I have confidence in using this to build, calibrate, and check my own antennas. I also learned that ambient lighting in my workshop didn't impact results, but that crowded conditions might amplify errors associated with nearby obstructions. I also recognized that I did use an N to SMA connector, which might introduce bias, and of course, I have to recognize any other factors that I'm likely missing, given that I'm not a radio engineer. If you have any observations or recommendations regarding these tests, please don't hesitate to comment on this video. Finally, I'll be happy to share Rack's laboratory tests for the 3.0 dBi antenna I originally evaluated a few weeks ago. The antenna was returned on May 27th, but in fairness to Rack, I should note that the antenna housing was damaged due to my own hacker curiosity. Having said that, they may be able to rebuild the housing for their own testing. If you'd like further details on that front, please check my last video. So if you're a subscriber to this playlist, you'll know that all these videos have been shared in the context of a Promise Gateway installation at my local hackerspace here in Tucson, Arizona, known as ZeroCraft. If you're wondering about that installation, I have installed the gateway in the radio room, but have been a bit delayed given challenges associated with TTN's migration to the Things stack which has unfortunately broken some of my nodes. I'm working on resolving that issue and hope to share an update and fix on that soon. Thanks to ZeroCraft and the local hackerspace community for your patience on that front. Please subscribe for updates and we'll see you again soon.